Charm Italian. Today I'm going to make fregula. Uh, before I start, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. So fregula is not like a normal pasta that I make. I don't do flour, egg, or flour water, and then knead the dough. It's made in a bowl with just with semolina flour and just a little bit of water at a time. And at the end, then you roast it. And at the end, it looks like couscous. Um, but add just a little bit of flour, a little bit of water, just keep mixing with your hand until it gets the right size and then roast it. So just let me show you how to do that. All right, so a bowl, semolina flour, and I have a spray bottle. I haven't done it last time, I just used my hands, dipped in water and splashed it in. It's a bigger spray bottle will be a lot easier. So I'm just gonna do, I don't know, that much for now, you keep adding more. So a little bit of water and then I just take my fingers like that and I'm just going to mix it around. And just keep mixing around as the water kind of absorbs into it right at the beginning. Do another spray, a couple sprays, mix it around it and it just takes a little bit of water at a time. Just kind of keep it all here. And the idea is as you're mixing and adding, you spray it with water. Once it starts forming little balls, you spray it with the water. It gets the outside of the little balls wet. And then you add some more flour and then it sticks. And then you build up layers almost like a hard candy, like Gobstoppers. And just keep doing that until you have the right shape. That's an update. Been doing this for a while, probably 15, 20 minutes. This is what's kind of starting to look like. It takes time. It's pretty time consuming. You do the same motion over and over. You just alternate between a little bit of flour, semolina flour, a little bit of water. It takes time. Uh, and it doesn't really look, it, it takes a while to take shape. So just don't give up. But it's kind of, you can see some little balls forming. And so you just keep going with that. And eventually it'll start to look like it's supposed to. And, all right, another update. Let's see, it's starting to come together, form a little couscous type. So I'm just gonna keep going. Again. And as you go and add more flour, you're gonna add a little bit more water every time you want to make sure it all gets coated and it kind of gets feels a little mushy at this stage after you spray it and so you can pour it around it starts to form little balls like I said before and then once it feels a little too mushy then just add some more semolina keep mixing around and keep going like that but in the process it's really starting to look like little pearls. But the problem is you have some bigger ones and then some little tiny ones. And if you keep going, then you're going to get real big monster ones and then normal size ones. So what you want to do now, once you get certain about the size you want, is I'm just going to use this nice spider strainer. And I'll scoop it up and just roll it around. And then just keep the ones about the size I want. Put them down on my baking sheet. Now I'm gonna get back to spraying and adding more. And then as you get more of the size, just keep transferring over. Eventually it'll be all about the size you want. All right, so here's what I have. I spread it out in a layer on a pan and I'm gonna roast it for, I don't know, seven or eight minutes until it kind of gets golden-y. Um, I ran out of semolina, but I still have a whole bowl of a lot smaller stuff left. And so I'm going to run that through a, a finer sieve and just make basically two batches. You probably have this for dinner tonight and save that for another night. And because there's no egg, it can save real well. And just the airtight container in the, in the pantry works just fine. Uh, so thank you. Um, Watch the next video. I'll show you what, how I'm going to make it tonight with a tomato sauce. Thank you.